Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Yeah, so yeah, we're on another adventure today. So today I thought I'd take you down the Lincolnshire coast, uh, starting at Chapel St. Leonard's and finishing off at Hot Off Beach. Uh, so I'm gonna be stopping off at a few places. So what I'll do, I'll do a satellite uh, jump from one place to another, to, just to show you where actually the places are on the Lincolnshire coast. Uh, so I'm going to show you the beaches and how beautiful they are. So yeah, I'm getting away from all the hustle and bustle. Uh, the most you will see the, is where the amusement arcades is, is actually at Chapel uh, St. Leonard's in the old village. Uh, but apart from that, we're going to go down the coast where it's nice and quiet, showing you all those lovely beaches. So if you're on a holiday on the east coast and you fancy going to a little beach that's nice and quiet and relaxing and you want to take the dogs for a walk, this is the place as where I'm going to be showing you where to go. Yeah, so before you go, uh, I've got a bit of an apology. So uh, last week I did a video on, on Chapel uh, and I went down uh, Trunch Lane and uh, I was saying trunk lane, so yeah, I apologise for that. So yeah, it's trunch lane, not trunk trunk lane. <laughs> so yeah, I apologise for that. Yeah, so also before we go, don't forget, please, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell and give us a thumbs up if you like it as well. And I'd also like to say thank you to all my new subscribers and my old subscribers that are still watching the channel. I want to build this channel up as much as I can so I can do more footage all around the country. So yeah, so let's go for that little walk down the beaches of the Lincolnshire coast. Yeah, so finally the sun is actually out. So God, last weekend it was absolutely freezing. Uh, everybody's walking around with the coats on. This week we're actually walking around with the shorts on and t-shirts, which is a good thing. So uh, yeah, crazy weather last weekend. What a change it is. So yes, yeah, so I thought this week I'd do something a little bit different, showing you all the nice quiet places and the scenic places on the Lincolnshire coast. So yeah, at the moment I've started off and we're at Chapel St. Leonard's in the old village. So yeah, it's a bit quiet this morning. It's a Saturday morning, uh, about 11 o'clock, I think it is. So there's not too many people about, but next weekend, it's, uh, it's a bank holiday next weekend again, all the end of the week, but uh, it's gonna start to get busier and busier. So let's just show you a few shops and uh, make our way down to that beach. As you can see, it's not a massive hustle and bustle place. It's a nice little, uh, nice little village, seaside village. So they've got all the amenities for the uh, families as well. So you've got the fish and chip shops, the pubs, and the little amusement arcades and stuff. All the little souvenir shops. We've actually got uh, two amusement arcades, they've got one opposite to each other. So we've got little millers here. Also we've got live music over there a lot in a sports bar. So yeah, I didn't realise that was there in millers. Yeah, what a beautiful day it is as well today. So uh, yeah, this is the way to the beach. Yeah, so you've got another little amusement arcade on the other side as well. So yeah, there's enough to do for the kids around here. If, uh, if you think it's too quiet. But yeah, loads of caravan sites around this area. And a lot of people do visit uh, Chapel St. Leonard every year and in the winter. Yeah, so this is the Chapel Beach. And people all say this is such a beautiful beach. I've been coming here for years. So it looks like, uh, I don't know if the tide's in or out. It's quite a fair way out. Yeah. 
yeah beautiful day today it's a little bit windy but it's uh, it's still nice so yeah you've got loads of sand dunes you can sit in here if you want to all right guys having a lovely time Fantastic. yeah you're on holiday or just for the day uh, holiday holiday for the weekend, days, yeah. For the weekend. Yeah. yeah you're enjoying it yeah, yeah like better it. now the weather's better isn't it, oh, it is. <laughs> have a good time yeah, it's a lovely couple there having a, uh, an ice cream on their holidays and they also wanted a key ring to uh, look at the uh, the video when I've done it so yeah thank you for that thank you for talking to me yeah so this we're on the seafront of Chapel St Leonard and there's a few uh, bits and bobs on the beach so you've got like a little pub down here as well a little bar a little cafe get teas and coffees and stuff just have a little quick lie dogs are welcome as well yeah looks really nice isn't it? And check out the uh, like a boat what they've made on the beach side yeah, it's really lovely that is Yeah, they've even got a, uh, the lady on the front of the boat. So yeah, what a brilliant job they've done of that. Yeah, so this is on Chapel Beach in the old village. Yeah, so in six weeks holidays, this is going to be really busy down here. Uh, everybody will be down here. But yeah, we've got seafront cafe as well, as well look. Uh, not bad prices as well. Bacon roll, three pounds. Sausage roll, sausage roll for uh, two pound eighty on bread. Ooh. So yeah, you got the toilets and everything as well. So uh, nice to come stay on the beach all day. Yeah, little calf there, and you can also walk walk down the seafront. You can see the uh, North Sea Observatory just over the way there. So I'm going to take you down there and uh, show you around that little bit as well. Yeah, so we've got today everybody's enjoying the ice creams in the uh, the coffee bar and the ice cream parlor there there's a few more people uh, started to appear since i first got here as well so yeah it's gonna, it looks like it's going to be a busy day today Yeah, so you can buy your buckets and spades and your flip-flops and your swimming costumes if you haven't bought one with you and a towel and your kites, sunglasses, everything. So there you go then guys, that's uh, Chapel St Leonard Village. Tour around the beach there and a little tour around the amenities as well. So yeah, let's go to the next place. So we're going to go to the observatory, the North Sea Observatory on uh, uh, Chapel as well. as well. So it's a few minutes away, so yeah, let's take you there. Right then everybody, so we stayed at the uh, Long Stay car park, uh, I think it was about £2.80 uh, for two hours. So uh, yeah, you can pay on your phone, uh, I think you pay cash as well. Also the, you can see that there's the bus stop here as well in this uh, Long Stay car park and uh, public toilets as well. Yeah, so let's go down to the North Sea Observatory, yeah, so I'm taking you from Chapel Village uh, down to the North Sea Observatory and showing you what that's actually like down there. So yeah, we'll be there in a minute.
Right, so at the uh, North Sea Observatory, yeah, so this is the car park. I've just paid, uh, I think it's one pound just for an hour. So just a little quick visit. But yeah, there is a uh, car payment and cash. So you can stay here all day for four pound and after six o'clock till 10 o'clock, it's actually free. So yeah, there's a cafe and uh, all different places up here to go. Right, so we're actually on Blades Beach, believe it or not. So yeah, another lovely beach in Chapel St. Leonard's. You can actually see right down the far end, if you can see it on the camera, you can actually see uh, Fantasy Island right down there. But yeah, lovely little beach huts on here. The tide is, I don't know if it's just coming in or just going out. But yeah, we're right down where the North Sea Observatory is. So that's just up the top there. So there you go everybody, uh, that was the uh, North Sea Observatory in Chapel St. Leonard's. So now we're going to take you to uh, Chapel Six Marshes. So this is a lovely stretch of beach where it's really, really quiet. Uh, not a lot down there. So it's for the people that uh, just want to go down there just to relax, take the dogs on the beach and have a good time. Uh, I think there's a little car park. I'm not sure if there's toilet facilities, but we can, uh, we can have a look. But yeah, let's just show you this lovely beach. So this coast of Lincolnshire is absolutely stunning uh, when you follow the coastline down on a, a lovely day like it is today as well. So yeah, let's get there as soon as we can and I'll show you uh, Chapel Six Marshes. As you can see, the road's a bit narrow and uh, a bit bumpy as well, but it's all good. It's all good. It's worth the visit. Oh, so here we are, Chapel Six Marshes. I'm not sure if the pay if you have to pay for the uh, car park here though. It could be free, hopefully. There's height restrictions on as well, so you cannot bring big vans in or camper vans or anything like that. It does look like you have to pay as well, so. Right, so we're at uh, Chapel Six Marshes, and uh, yes, you do have to pay for the parking. Uh, you must get a ticket because the guys are actually around here now. Uh, checking on the cars, making sure you guys have actually uh, paid for your parking. But yeah, you can see one pound for an hour, t uh, for two hours, two pound, four for two hours. But yeah, so this is on the Lincolnshire coast. It's a country park, and it's called. It says "Welcome to Chapel Six Marshes." Yeah, so it's a favourable place for people to come down and do a bit of bird watching as well. Uh, get close to nature. Yeah, so you've also got lovely walks uh, through the marshes and you've got uh, picnic areas as well so yeah let's take you on the beach let's show you this beautiful beach and uh, see if there's anybody actually down here today so this is a good way you just have to walk, walk down the sand oh check out that beautiful sea so there is a few steps to get to here so uh, if you're disabled, you might struggle a little bit. And also on the beach, you would struggle. But yeah, look at the beach. It is absolutely stunning, this beach is. Actually, the pipeline's on at the moment, so that's where they're gonna actually be uh, 
bringing the uh, sand back onto the beach for, from the bottom of the sea to protect the uh, sea defences. So you can see, the, I'm out of breath, <laughs> as you can see just a bit further down there, that is the uh, North Sea Observatory. But yeah, check out all the sand dunes and all the marshes. So just a little bit further down there, we've got Anderby Creek. Yeah, so we're gonna go down to Anderby Creek as well. Yeah, so this is Chapel Six Marshes and it's a lovely beach, very quiet beach. Great to come down here on a lovely day. So you've got this uh, little watch tower, yeah? So when you come in the winter and it's blowing a gust, uh, you can actually go in the watch tower and peep through and you can actually see uh, what's happening on the beach and all the, uh, the nature, the bird life. Yeah, so this is going up to the observatory where you can actually see what's happening. It's been banging about a little bit, so uh, I think as you stand on it, it tips down. <laughs> a bit of an odd one. So yeah, you can see all the sea from here. But yeah, so when you stand on it, it actually goes down and uh, you can see and then when it goes back up the wind stops so listen to this it makes a right row <laughs> a lot of people have been going oh my god thinking it's broken yeah so yeah yeah you can see the car park and the uh, picnic area and all the marshes down there look right so there you go then that is uh chapel six marshes let's go to the next destination which is anderby creek Right, so uh, Chapel Six Marshes. So yeah, if you like this sort of thing, come and pay them a visit. A uh, nice quiet day down here if you wanted it. So uh, next one, uh, we're going to Anderby Creek. Uh, I'm gonna stay a little bit longer there, showing you around Anderby Creek. There's not a lot there, but this, uh, it's still a lovely place. People still uh, visit there in the winter as well. Uh, yeah, so let's go there, Anderby Creek. We'll see you there in a minute. Right, so this is Andyby Creek. So yeah, a little, little village, uh, but with a lovely beach. I say you can come here all year round as well uh, to uh, visit here. A lot of people actually come here just for a lovely walk down the beach and uh, bring the dogs for a walk on the beach. So yeah, there's caravan sites around here as well. And they say there's a pub there, look, Poppy's Kitchen and Bar, which has just gone past and uh, we've got the uh, Rose uh, Family Caravan Park. So yeah, there's quite a few caravan parks down here. Say there's not a lot here. We've got a Greek Tavern there, Han Anderby Springs uh, Caravan Park as well. So yeah, check out the deck chair in the middle. That looks a good one, isn't it? So yeah, this is the car park and uh, this is where we have to stay. So it's uh, not a very big uh, car park. Uh, so there's a lot of people visit this place there's public toilets as well over there if you need the toilet right so let's take you for a walk around So everybody, welcome to Anderby Creek. Yeah, lovely little quiet place to visit. Uh, so let's show you around Anderby Creek and show you that beautiful beach. Yes, yeah, so they've actually got a little, uh, little shop here and a little cafe. 
open at 9.30, it closes at 4.30. Weekends 9.30 till 5. So yeah, come down here, you've been on the beach, get yourself a coffee. Dog friendly as well. And you've also got the uh, buckets and spades and that for the kids as well. If you want to buy them while you're here. You see the little uh, Under Creek Beach Calf Beach Shop and Calf Bar. And there's a deck chair in the middle there if you want to sit in the deck chair. <laughs> All right, so this is the way to the beach. So let's see what's actually at the beach of Andeby Creek. I don't think I've actually ever been down here before, so this is the first time for me. But yeah, it looks like there's quite a few people on here. So we've got a, a child friendly beach. The sign there. I'll tell you about some lovely buildings as well. Check out that building up there. Check out the view they've got over the sea. And beautiful marshes as well. Yeah, and there's loads of people actually on the beach here today. It's actually lovely. Uh, so I think the tide's actually uh, just going out. I think it turns about two o'clock today. It's not too far to walk down to the sea. If you wanted to go down to the sea and have a little dip. Yeah, check out the views of those houses over there. Beautiful. So yeah, this is a very popular beach, this is. So no hustle and bustle. Just a nice, quiet beach to come down to and enjoy the sunshine or the winter sun in the winter. Right, so this looks like a little uh, hideaway here. Don't know if it was a bar or something. But you can actually walk up to the top. Some strange uh, things up here, some concrete things. Yeah, so take a look at that. Andeby Creek Beach, beautiful. And you can just see behind the beach, you can just see through the trees, the caravans. So there you go everybody, that's Anderby Creek. What a lovely beach down there, yeah that is a first for me going down to that beach. So yeah, I've really enjoyed uh, having a look around uh, the beach there. So I just did a little short video for you guys just to see what it's actually like if you've never been here before. But if you've uh, not been for a long time, it's nice to see the place again. So yeah, that's Anderby Creek. Right, so there you go everybody. I hope you all enjoyed that uh, little adventure around Anderby Creek. What a beautiful place it is. Uh, well worth a visit. So let's go to the next place. So the next destination will be Hutoff. So Hutoff Car Terrace. So yeah, let's see you there.
So right then guys, that took us about 15-20 uh, minutes to get from Anderby Creek to Hutoff Car Terrace. So as you can see on the right hand side, there is a, uh, a coffee shop and it's called the Vista at the Boat Shed. So I think they do all kinds of food in there, tea, cakes, might even do alcohol in there as well. And I think they've also got toilets, but they've got a lovely viewing area uh, on top of the roof where you can actually see all the sea and the beach as well. Uh, also on the beach front here at Hutoff's Car Terrace, you've actually got toilets as well. Um, also, you do have to pay uh, for parking. Uh, I think they've actually put a pay machine in now, uh, but you can also buy uh, pay by the phone as well. So yeah, let's take you down Hutoff Beach and uh, show you what's happening down here. even people having fun today so we've got some kite surfers out there today and that looks really good fun yeah just check the beach out I say that goes all the way down to Sutton on Sea and then Mablethorpe so on here we also got the toilets and the cafe as well so if you uh, need a bite to eat you can actually go to the cafe and grab something to eat there Let's say come down here early if you want to come and visit Hut Off. It's a very busy place in the summer, so you will struggle to get a car parking space. Uh, you do have to pay as well, so uh, make sure you pay when you get down here. So you'll end up getting a ticket. Right, so there you go then guys. I hope you've all enjoyed that uh, great visit of all the beaches uh, down the Lincolnshire coast. I'm sorry I couldn't make it to all the beaches, but uh, I took you to some of the favourite beaches I like and I wanted to visit. And uh, hope it's brought back some memories if you haven't been here for a long, long time. And uh, yeah, it's been a really good time. I've really enjoyed it this morning, so I've met a lot of great people as well. Uh, yeah, so we've finished off here at Foot Off uh, Car Terrace. And it's still a really good day today, so the sea looks good. There's actually people in the sea today. Right, so before we go, please don't forget, hit that subscribe button. 
hit that notification bell for all my new videos that's coming up and uh, also give us a thumbs up if you like it. So thank you to all my subscribers, it's been absolutely brilliant up to now and uh, I'm really enjoying doing all the filming for you guys out there. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video and we'll see you soon. Isn't it weird, like, when you're doing some filming, people always going to stand up for the camera.